Hi everybody, we're just uh, about to bring in out of Pulcha. Uh, we've just finished having a live. I'm just waiting for them to come in. Let me just take them. And it's got silk for him. Hi are you there? Take, take. Okay, all right, here we are, we are here, I would, so I just let the other missionaries go, here we go, here's out of foot cha. Uh, hey, out of my gwale. Right, let's bring you in, Ed. Just waiting for you to come in out of Fulcha. Mm. Let's try and bring you in again. Du, 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 du. Keep trying. Oh gosh. I hope your internet is good. Hello, Aja Magwale. Oh, you're not out here anymore, you're Spencer. That's right. Here we go. Let's try this. Try to bring you in. Did it, did it. Connecting! Yay! We did it! Oh, <laughs> I had a full chat. Well, the others have done it because they have to go to their um, appointments. But yes. it is great to see you here. It is great to see you at a full chat. How are you? Great to be here. I'm fantastic. Yeah, we're up in Butler, me and my new companion, Ella Hansen. Yeah, it's awesome. I, uh, hi, Ella Hansen. Hello, good to see you. Good to see you both. All right, we, we're we're going to start our message soon. Before we okay. do, we'll just um, we'll have our prayer. As no, Al Hansen can give the prayer. <laughs> That's it, and right. then we'll just have a little chat after that. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Is Elder Maguire going to join us? Oh, uh, we'll just see if we can bring him in. Okay. I know who's in the chat. Talking. I'm not sure if we're gonna have two people in the team. Yeah, I'm not sure too. Bring them on the camera. Oh. Yes, Hello, please. Sister Karima. <laughs> Hi, my buddy. How's it? Hey, how's it going? Hi. <laughs> hey, can we bring in more than one person on the live? No way. Um, I'm not sure. Not sure. Eh? Oh, well, we were just going to have um, Ada Henson say the prayer, but we can have you say the prayer and then we're going to bring them in. We'll just do some <laughs> <All right>. prayers. <laughs> Too easy. We'll get you the okay. Yeah. You start with our prayer. Sorry, you sister. Oh, yeah. I'll do it. Dear Heavenly Father, we refer this time for us to go to have this live very grateful for the opportunity for us to be able to like um, share one another's thoughts and insights and please bless us with inspiration today. These things, Father, we only pray for in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It's good to see you, uh, Spencer. Oh, you're yeah. showing us your room. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just going to uh, grab a jacket because I'm just in my um, normal clothing. Just give me a sec. Okay, <laughs> just while you're there, um, uh, Spencer, do you know yep. much about, um, do you use Zoom? Yes, I do. I, I, okay. I mean, I use Zoom, but not as good as I think I would be good enough. Okay, because I'm going to give you an assignment, but I'll tell you that more about that afterwards, okay? Because we want to keep yeah, you yeah. in the loop. We want you still part of the team, and you know, so you can still be with us, all right? Um, so, yep. so what I'm going to do, uh, do you have a scripture? Do you actually have a scripture ready for us too, Ada? I mean, Spencer? <laughs> Me? Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I do, I do, I do, actually. Um, yeah. Just do somewhere. Ooh, I wish, um, I wish we could join another future on the Hanson. I know. But... So what? What I was going to ask you to do is if you could, um, 
get us hooked up on Zoom. Ah, okay. No, maybe not now, um, maybe not now, but for the next one, okay? All right, maybe next year for the next one. Yeah. When you yeah. when Fulcher comes in, then we can get you on. Anyway, um, do you want to share your message now or do you want me to bring them on first and they can share theirs? Yeah, sure. I think I can share because um, okay. I'm having like a class later soon. Later, maybe soon. I'm just waiting for the link to be passed on. Okay. Um, so you could be sharing yours yeah. and, and then I'll, I'll go to out of Fulcher in them. Okay? Yeah, sure. All right. So the scripture that I want to share with all of you today is they're like it's like one of my favorite scriptures excuse me I'm trying to turn off the fan they're like one of my favorite verses rather and favorite scriptures in the oops sorry that was uh <laughs> that was uh very awkward but anyways uh one of the um scriptures that i would like to share today is one of my favorite scriptures in the mission and during the mission um and it's in i think it's a very common scripture that everyone know but it's in alma chapter 17 verses 2 to 3 mm -hmm. um and this well this is the part where alma and amulek mend up unexpectedly with the sons of Mosiah um, as they were journeying somewhere. And so in verse 2 and 3, I would love to like read that for us. Um, now yeah. these sons of Mosiah were with Alma at the time the angel first appeared unto him. Therefore Alma did rejoice exceedingly to see his brethren, and what added more to his joy, they were still his brethren in the Lord. Yea, and they had waxed strong in the knowledge of the truth, for they were men of a sound understanding, and they had searched the scriptures diligently that they might know the word of God. But this is not all. They had given themselves so much prayer and fasting. Therefore, they had the spirit of prophecy and the spirit of revelation. And when they taught, they taught with power and authority of God. And so from the scripture, um, for say, like, like me, um, even then I'm already finished in my full-time missionary service. But Whee! each and every one of the people that I serve and companions or members that may be, they're still my brethren. They're still my sisters as well. And they'll always have a special place um, in my heart, obviously, because it's, it's my own mission. And at the same time as well, I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve with great missionaries, great elders. Um, El Fulcher being one as my former companion when we were up in Butler. I really enjoyed those times being with El Fulcher. And just for anyone that I served with, same as with Elder Hansen. I wish I stayed even longer in 8 p.m. so I can spend more time with Elder Hansen as well. But then again, they're still my brethren. Um, even after the mission, we'll still keep in touch and all that. Um, and how... We can do all these things. It's just we continue to be active in the church, read, study the scriptures, do missionary work in normal, natural ways, whatever possible way that could be. And then, yeah, I guess like we'll wax strong in the knowledge of the truth and to apply it with everyone who's being the live. Um, in verse 3, as I've read earlier, continue in, oh, sorry, they continued themselves to much prayer and fasting. In order for us to gain the spirit to be with us all the time, we need to fast and pray always. Because like personally for me, that is how I physically, I'm uh, sorry, spiritually um, increase myself um, to make my spirit fat pretty much. But yeah, that's just <laughs> my thoughts that I would love to share. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. Thank you, Ada. I mean, Spencer. Gosh, I keep calling you Ada. <laughs> All good. <laughs> I, I love that you use that scripture because that scripture is about a reunion between brothers. And they, ha they yep. are so it's like the to see each other because they're still <laughs> strong. And the strength of the Lord, they are still strong. And I love that you're still um, here with us. This yeah. is a gathering place. This is a place it where is. we can come to talk all things of Christ and just be uplifted by each other. And we love that yeah. you are here. 
Thank um, you. Good to be here. To go with us because people who don't know um, Spencer, he served a mission here in Perth and he's just gone back home recently and he's in the Philippines now. So I love that we're able to use technology to connect with one another. Um, pretty different from Alma and the Sons of Mosiah's uh, situation, but uh, yeah, very, mm. yeah, it, it's just amazing that you're here with us, okay? Um, so thank Thanks, you, sorry, yeah. Spencer. <laughs> I, I, no worries. I'll... I'll... Let's get it sorted on Zoom so we can all have each other on, okay? Can so you, easy. You and I may, I may need to like, uh, I may need to jump in with my um, my class because I have a class very soon. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. We'll let you go. Yeah. All right, then. Thank All you. All right, then. Maybe Bye, next Spencer. time. Thank you, Sister Eva. See you later. Bye. Have a full trip up the Hudson. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, let's bring you in, uh, full chat. Out of full chat. We'll bring you in. I'm trying to bring you in. All right. So, Ed. <sighs> Let's see if we can get you in. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Oh, great. Oh, <laughs> good, to see, good to see Spencer again. I know. It's so good. Um, oh. Yeah. It, it's Hold just on brilliant. One. It's great how we can reach you doing well, here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to figure that out. Anyway, and I was uh, I was we'll... watching you guys before on the live, and I was I was having throwbacks. I was having you know some nostalgia <laughs> watching that. I was even singing along in the song. Wish I could have been on there. You have to let me join. I know. In <laughs> yes, yes, it's powerful. Um, and we we you know how it is. We go away from these lives just full of the spirit. I mean, it's really uplifting to be involved in them. Anyway. So we're going to learn a little bit about um, Al Hansen here. Al Hansen, this is your first time in the live. Out of Fulcher has been with us since we first started in the beginning, like maybe a year ago. So he's one of our foundation um, members. But uh, you, Al Hansen, please introduce yourself. Tell us about you and then uh, go straight into your sharing, Alders. Sorry, you cut out for a bit. What did you want me to do? A bit about myself. Just okay. say, yeah, we want to get to know you. This is this, this all part of it. <laughs> so, all right. So my name is Elder Hansen. I am from Adelaide. I have been in Perth for about three months now, but I was serving okay. in Sydney previously for about seven months. So... I came over here. It was my original plan to come here, but due to COVID, I had to go to Sydney first when I started. And then I came in just before the outbreak happened in New South Wales, which I am very grateful for. I am a family of six other siblings, four step, and then two younger siblings that are actually related to me. And I've always grown up in Adelaide and I play basketball. I love playing it. It's my favorite sport. And I'm on the mission right now. And this has been the best experience that I've had so far. And I've been in Butler for about, say, two months now. Awesome. So that's a little mm. bit about me. Uh, so do you know Mia? Do you know say Mia? Say the last name. Gilbert? Yeah. yeah. They, they, they met just with her You know they may. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so we were helping them house. today. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, they, they, she's one of our foundation members too. I don't know if you knew that, but I was just letting you know. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, anyway, it is cool. Yeah, we, 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 we just, I was just talking to the missionaries about this. After a year, out of which you would know this, we just started the group. We didn't know what we were doing. And we'd just been following the spirit uh day by day really and it's not until now i i absolutely understand what this group is about now this is like an extension of my classroom you know but i've taught seminary for like many years and um this is kind of like an, an extension of all the years that i've taught in seminary so now the classroom is global and um it's come at a good time we're actually going to open this page up and not be private anymore 
um, and make it public so because people can, will be able to share the messages. So, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's just come to our mind now. We've got conference coming up. We're excited about that, and we're just going to, you know, do whatever the, the Spirit prompts us to do. And so, Adis, it's your turn to share something by the Spirit. Everything is Spirit-led here out of Hanson. Out of Fortune knows how it goes. Just go by the Spirit. Okay? There's no script. We just go by what the Spirit says. Okay? Uh, so maybe out of Fortune, you can go first, and then we'll listen to um, out of Hanson, and then we'll wrap it, okay? Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you for having us again. Um, I absolutely agree. I do think that this group here is is really meant to bless the lives of those who, um, who maybe don't find it as easy to to understand the scriptures or, or feel the spirit, but they can from the the comfort of their homes here. So that's really awesome. Um, I was I was thinking about what scriptures I really liked. Um, when preparing to share something and it's hard to pick a favorite scripture and I feel like for me it it, it changes um, it changes all the time as I continue to read and, and find new scriptures that stand out um, but something that I, as I was looking through the scriptures that I really liked something stood out to me today um, and it's in Helaman 12 verses 6 7 and 8 so I'll just read those I mean it might seem a bit off but hopefully I can explain what why this really stands out to me. Um, behold, they do reign over them, notwithstanding his great goodness. Are we still? Sorry, I think our internet's struggling a little bit. Um, yeah. Just let me know. If you <laughs> Start again, um, Adam. Okay. Behold, they do not desire that the Lord their God, who hath created them, should rule and reign over them, notwithstanding his great goodness and his mercy towards them. They do set at naught his counsels, and they will not that he should be their guide. Oh, how great is the nothingness of the children of men! Yea, even they are less than the dust of the earth. For behold, the earth is under at the command of the last You're breaking up a bit. All right. Did you manage to I catch think it's your that? Internet. Yeah, I think it is our, our end. We're at the chapel right now, but it's not too it's not too stable. Um, did you manage to catch that scripture or at least most of it? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, so that that scripture might be like a funny one to have as, as one that you really like, um, because it does at one point compare sort of us to the dust of the earth and it seems a bit um a bit negative um but uh, for me it's, it's very hum humbling um and that, that that could be a word we could use um it, it shows us really that compared to god that is that is what we're like um but i i find that there's a really important message that perhaps is so obvious in this, and that's that we still are worth everything to god Although compared to God, we are less than the dust of the earth because he is so great. We are everything. He values us above everything. And why? We read so many scriptures about how God loves his, the children um, more than everything. He loves his children. Um, but then he has a scripture like this, which kind of makes us think, oh, well, that's, that's a bit contradictory, isn't it? Um, but the way I understand it is we are, are human beings right now with all of our imperfections. Um, but we have infinite potential. We have only DNA inside of us, but we haven't, we haven't awakened that yet. We, we have so far to go before we reach that. Um, and so we have two choices. We can either choose to follow God's commandment, choose to, to align our will with God. Um, the only thing we can really give God is, is our will, is our ability to choose. So we can either give that over to God and follow him um, and disobey God. And in, in doing so, 
if we disobey God, then because even the dust of the earth follows God's command. But if we do follow God's commands, then we have the potential to be infinitely values us. Absolutely. Your Wi-Fi is really playing up, Ada. I know, it was all right before, eh? Um, let's try and just... Try and Are you in your flat? No. Ah. I'll bring you back in, Ada. I'll bring you back in. Uh, oh no, his wife. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, look, look, look. Be with us, people. Uh, and th this is the thing that can happen when we have um, our lives is that we have to make sure our, our Wi Fi is good. We, oh, we're doing our best. We're doing our best to spread that good message for people. Um, I love his message. His scripture is um, a good scripture. It really just teaches us how to humble ourselves. Um, anyway, let's just wait for them to come in. Approve. Okay, it's okay. Just keep trying. So we're trying to bring you in. Mm, it might be his internet, might be down. His scripture is in Helaman chapter 12. I'm going to see if I can post it in the group. Um, Helaman. Helaman chapter 12, verses 6 to 8. Keep trying, Arapocha. It might be his internet might not be that great. I'll just try and wait for him and, and look for the scripture that he was looking at. So it's Helaman chapter 12, verse 6 to 8. And I'll read it again for you, just in case you didn't hear. And it says here, I'm still trying to bring him in, so I'll just read it again while I'm waiting for him. Behold, they do not desire the Lord their God, who have created them, should rule and reign over them, notwithstanding this, his great goodness and his mercy towards them. They do set at naught his counsels, and they will not that he should be their guide. Oh, how great is the nothingness of the children of men! Yea, even they are blessed in the dust of the earth. For behold, the dust of the earth moveth hither and thither, to the dividing asunder, at the command of our great and everlasting God. Beautiful scripture. Um, so I'm just going to wait for him to come in so he can explain. We're trying to get him in. But it seems like uh, maybe his internet is not good or something. But that's a beautiful scripture. Here we go. Okay. Connecting. Sorry. Yay. There we go. We're back again. I just read your scripture again. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just read your scripture again to make it loud and clear for, you know, because it kept on breaking up. Anyway, let's go back to you. It's a beautiful scripture. Should We should have better internet now. We've switched over what, we, what we're connected to. Um, but I'll just quickly yes. explain what I was talking about before. Um, obviously, this scripture can, can make us feel like, oh, well, we're not worth very much. Um, but we do know that Heavenly Father values us above everything. Um, but this scripture is reminding us that if we don't follow God and we don't give over our will for God um, and do what he wants us to do, then we really can't reach our great potential that we have inside of us. And, you know, we will be less than the dust of the earth because on our own, that's, you know, we don't, we don't have the capabilities to reach the potential that God wants us to reach. Um, but he loves us so much because he knows that that's inside of us. Um, and all he asks is to come follow him um, and he'll help us to be able to awaken um, 
that potential, that, that great destiny that we have um, to be like him. Absolutely. Can I just make a point there? Arafucha, thank you for your scripture, by the way. Um, it really teaches us to uh, prepare us to be teachable, right? Mm. To humble ourselves, to know that uh, know our place. When it comes to God, to know our place. Um, and, and yeah, it's a just it's just a good reminder to know that we are the you know we're not we're not up there, we're down there. <laughs> okay. um, that makes yeah. any sense. <laughs> uh, to make keep it real. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but anyway, thank you for your scripture. Beautiful. All right, Ada Hansen, let's hear from you. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for the opportunity, of course. So, my scripture is in the Book of Mormon as well. It's in Moroni, chapter 7, verse 33. In Moroni, chapter 7, there's a guy, his name is Moroni, and his dad is someone named Mormon. And what Moroni is doing at the end of the book is he's writing a few, a few things that his dad has told him. And he talks a lot about faith. And faith is believing in something we can't see. We can't see God or Jesus Christ. But we, if we have faith in them, we will follow their commandments and follow the things that they've told us to do. And the scripture says in verse 33, he says, Christ have said, if you will have faith in me, you shall have the power to do whatsoever is expedient of me. So there's another scripture in the Bible that relates to it in Luke chapter one. And this is when the angel Gabriel is appearing to Elizabeth. Elizabeth is going to give birth to John the Baptist, who is going to baptize Jesus. And the angel tells Elizabeth, you are going to give birth to to the to pretty much that is going to baptize Jesus. And Elizabeth is in her later years, like in above 60s, and it is impossible for her to have kids. And she questions it to the angel and says, How is this possible? Well, she says, How is this possible? I can't have kids, I'm barren. And the verse 37 says in Luke chapter one, it says, War of God, nothing shall be impossible. And in that scripture, it relates, even though it's talking about God and Jesus, they have the same purpose. So we know that no matter what, God does love us. He does think of us highly. He thinks of us really well. We are his children. Even no matter what we do, he wants us to do well. And Christ have said, if you, if you actually do something about it, if you actually have faith if you go to church if you go try and pray if you try your best then it's going to work out it's going to be a much easier life and it's going to be so much better never have we ever heard anyone say that without if i don't do good things then like i need to fix my bad things in order to do good things it work. it's if you start doing good things the bad things just stop really happening that's something we've learned a lot. When people are coming back to church, is one example we can talk about this. They find it hard to come back to church because they're trying to give up the things, the bad things that they're doing straight away. They're like, I need to give up these things first, and then I'll come back. But God really wants to help you, and so does Jesus Christ, of course. Again, same purpose. So if you if you really believe that if you come to church, it's going to help you, it is. It really does. And so if you go first to church, then it gives you that strength and that power to be able to give up things that are bad. So it does become difficult. There is a lot of things that seem impossible in life, but we know that the plan that God has given us, it does make things possible. God is going to give you a trial that you aren't going to be able to face. And Jesus Christ is going to be there to help you every single step of the way. He performed something called the atonement, which is when he died on the cross and then overcame death. And because of this, he, we, can become, we can overcome death. We can go back to God and we can live in heaven. He gives us those opportunities so he understands how we feel. He's took on, on every single mistake or pain or affliction or even sin that we've committed, he took that on himself so he could understand how we feel. 
So I know that this scripture is really important. It does bless the lives of others. And so for those who are watching, who are having trials right now, just know if you have faith in Jesus Christ, and if you try your best, then it may not happen straight away, but things will work out over time. And that's the scripture that I wanted to share and as to what I think about it. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Love the messages out, it's perfect. Um, and, I, and even as you share those scriptures, I can feel what the Spirit is trying to tell us because really the Spirit is the true teacher here, right? And your, both your messages, and this is what I love about the lives, we, we don't know, we don't script anything, but the Spirit just works in us and just knows what to say, you know, for us, you know, directs us to, to what to say. And like both of your messages, from hearing them, uh, this is what comes to my mind. Um, there's a scripture in um, Philippians 4.13. We're talking about um, putting aside, we were just talking about it with the missionaries here, you know, uh, you got to move those mountains. You know, you, you need to really strengthen yourself up in, in, in the strength of the Lord because when he is involved, we can do anything. And that scripture is quite powerful. And I'll just tell you a little something about uh, that too. So it says here, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Uh, such a profound scripture. You know, the, the words just are so meaningful. And when you're thinking about somebody that is trying to make those changes, I remember I just finished talking in the other live about how I gave up smoking. Uh, and before, before I made my change, I did not value myself much. I, I always thought I wasn't enough. Because that's what sometimes the world want you to think that you're not enough we get so many messages out there we're just talking about you know being humble the lord is telling us he wants us to humble ourselves so he can teach us because what the world teaches us out there is that you're not enough so of course he's got to humble us first before he can teach us and then he just gives us all these beautiful words and and they really teach us who we are and our reason for being here and his perfect plan and his atonement is, is part of that plan. But you can't see any of that until you like let go of the things of the world that you're holding on to, right? And if there's any power that can help us overcome those things, it is the strength of the Lord. And when you, you, when you understand who Christ is and what he has done for us, and talking about that atonement, until we fully understand what he has done for us, we cannot power up in his strength. Uh, so when it says, I can do all things in Christ, we need to absolutely believe that. And then comes the miracle. And like I told the missionaries here, I was 12 years old when I started smoking. I didn't know what I was doing. But at the age of 30, I finally gained the strength to push aside that mountain that I created for myself. And I was able to move it only by learning who our Savior was and what he has done for us. So, you know, to this testimony and this scripture, I can do all things in Christ, I add mine. I absolutely believe that. You can do anything if you're in the strength of the Lord. You know, what makes us do these hard things, it's, uh, it, it, it's just more, I don't know, more, more easier. Does that make any sense? To do it when we, do, when we know that he is there for us. You know, we do these difficult things, like you're, you're away from your family for such a long time, it does get difficult. What makes you be there? It is only him. He brings us here, right? He helps us and we learn from these. But it's taking the act of faith. It's, it's taking the step forward. And, and you're not alone in doing it. This is what most people think too. You're not alone in doing it. He is there with you. He is holding your hand. Just like what Sister Furry said, he is holding your hand. Um, I think that's a really beautiful thing to know these days. You know, I had an experience this morning, my, you know, I, I don't know if my son's going to ever see this, but he told me this morning, he didn't feel like he was enough. You know, and that just breaks me. Um, and we cannot give our testimony to anyone. They have to find it for themselves. And they have to find them for themselves. And I guess this is just our way of, of trying to make that easier for others. Right? 
Um, so yeah, this is our message to me. <laughs> you know, you're not alone. You can do all things in Christ if you, but we must humble ourselves first, you know, and then He can teach us one step at a time. Um, so yeah, thank you, Aris, for your wonderful message. And do you have any other comments to, to share before we finish? No, I think you said it. You hit the nail on the head. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, we, you said it. Awesome. We can do all things in Christ. If you think you're not enough, you are. You are something. You're more than precious. You know, you're precious in the in the sight of God. Remember the worth of souls is great in the sight of God. We are somebody. And um, yeah, this is our message for each and every one of you who come in today. We love you all and we testify all these things are true in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen, elders. All right. Who would do it? You don't want to sing a song, do you? <laughs> I don't think we have time. We've got to, we've got to duck off. Okay. But um, we'll have a prayer for sure. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and just let me know when you want to do your next slide, okay, others? Uh, for sure. Is it, Thank yeah? you so much for the We're opportunity. Good? Great. Thank, Thank you, Addis. All right. Yeah. You say the prayer. Okay, I'll, I'll offer that. Dear Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for this wonderful day that we've been blessed with, the opportunity we have to come um, and, and join via technology for this Facebook Live to discuss um, the scriptures um, that we have prepared um, and how we can come closer to our Heavenly Father, to Jesus Christ, how we can overcome the challenges in our life and, and reach our full potential. We ask you that we might be able to see that within ourselves. Um, we ask you to bless those who are in need and who are struggling particularly um, with, with any, any burdens or trials in their life at this time. Give them the strength to overcome it. And we ask for safety in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Amen, elders. All right. Love you guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank if you're you. in Butler, see you later. Up. And if you see them on the road, then feed them. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, hey, I take a selfie.